Hey, what's up, everybody? You're listening to the Created to Be Creative podcast. My name is Jayla White, and you know we are created to be. So we bring everybody who are creative in their own field. And no matter, you don't have to pick up a camera to be creative. So today we have the tutor society. She do a lot of stuff. I ain't going to lie to you. We actually went to school together and we was in band together. Side note, side note. This is Lashanika. Lashanika, tell everybody hey. Hello, everybody. You go by Sean, though. You yes, go by Sean. I go by Sean. I know Lashanika, <laughs> baby, in band. What you play, the clarinet? Girl, yeah. I was over there on the saxophone. Uh, and the <laughs> look, don't forget them hairbells days. Oh, <laughs> yes. We was in band. We was in band. We was in band. I wasn't doing no work. <laughs> No, but Lashana, can tell us, uh, Sean, tell us about you, everything you do, and just who you are as a person. Okay, um, my name is Lashana Hicks. I am a tutor. I li- also like to refer to myself as an entrepreneur. Mm. Um, I am a Christian faith-based woman. Thank you, God. Period. <laughs> we love the Lord. Um, daughter, sister, well-around family person. Um, that's just a little bit about me. <laughs> <laughs> so you are in the educational field so um just talk a little bit about that that side of your background because that really led you into tutoring right yes, yes um so talk about about that like how did you get into tutoring like in the education system like <laughs> so I really started out when I was working in daycare mm. and I worked with infants I worked with toddlers <laughs> and then I transitioned to more so the preschool babies and I fell in love with, like, how the younger ones, they're like sponges. So mm-hmm. they, they soak up everything. Um, and what led me to the education system was I felt like I wasn't doing enough in the daycare. I was like, I can do a little more. So I ended up um, stepping into the education system as a paraprofessional. Oh. I started out working with special ed. Mm. And <laughs> girl, she girl did some stuff, honey, with your children. Girl, yes. <laughs> but... Honestly, once I hit the got into the special ed classroom, and we're not gonna call them special ed. They're yeah. they're exceptional ed now. Oh, so I'm, I didn't know that. Working with my exceptional ed babies really is what led me to tutoring because people look at their labels mm-hmm. and they doubt, you know, their abilities. Wow. So I realized just giving them that extra help, that extra push on a daily set them ahead and above general ed kids Mm. because you had some kids that were like not in special ed and they could not read they couldn't write and just because they saw these students who had they were labeled as autistic and um std which is significantly developmentally um, delayed (laughs) so they looked at them like Oh, they got this going on, so they can't do this over here. But they were wrong. Oh, they was getting familiar. Yeah. Wow. So, um, working with them is what really led me into tutoring, um, because I felt like even when the pandemic hit, a lot of kids, like the pandemic messed a lot of them up. Yeah. So a lot of kids, like they, they were at home. Wow. They were having to, you know, look to the computer. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of family members like. I don't know what to do with my child. <laughs> Chosen Society. What made you start Chosen Society? What really made me start Chosen Society is I have a lot of, of course, teacher friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and, of course, like we sit and we talk about, you know, how the education system, you know, it just doesn't pay enough. Wow. And all of us, like, sat down and realized, like, we have something inside of us, like, we have a business inside of us. It might not have to do with education, might be with, um, you know, physical, physical training, or it might be, you know, stepping into selling your own merch, whatever. And I had a lot of my coworkers come to me and they're like, how do you do it? Like, Mm. what, like, what, what is it that you do? Like, how are you able to come in here, get your work done and then still have energy to leave and go do your own thing? And I think, like, just me sitting down and having different conversations about, you know, how I stepped into it, how just being focused on, you know, what God has called me to be, for one, 
um, has helped me and just, you know, shifting the mindset and changing all of that. It's, I mean, it all starts with your mind. For sure. Um, and yeah, she just did a little growing strong minds for it. It all starts with your mind. <laughs> it, growing you, strong right, minds. It starts with your mind. <laughs> growing strong minds. Yes. <laughs> but no, so, um, I had a group of ladies that just came to me like, you know, I, I need to sit down with you and. <laughs> I need you. My mom was the same way. Oh, like wow. they, they were like, I need to sit down with you. <laughs> and it was like, I couldn't get to everybody. Yes. Like I felt the inside of me to like pour into them and, you know, give them what they needed to like shift their mindset. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I can't sit down <laughs> individually <laughs> because I'm like, I got so much going on. I got on. <laughs> so, I'm so, running my own business. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me figure out something that I can do. Yeah. And a lot of them, um, a lot of the women that I met, they were on there developing their journey and, you know, strengthening their relationship with God. Mm. So I was like, you know, that play hand in hand when yeah. you're in the business because you, you got to lean, you gotta on. lean on somebody. It better be the Lord. <laughs> so I'm like, you got to lean a look closer <laughs> to him when you trying to, when yeah. you talking about starting a business. And those are the things like I would tell them. So I was like, you know what, I... I got the idea from I was a part of a society. Mm. Um, and I feel like community is everything. It is. Especially when you are being called to do something, you have to separate yourself from certain people. Yeah. And I realized that like real fast. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, my friends ain't gonna get yeah. <laughs> why I'm not going with y'all to this event and yeah. that event. Cause God need me to be at home in my word. Yeah. He might need me to stay up a little late mm-hmm. and work on some stuff. Yeah. And it get a little lonely. Like it, it, it get a little lonely. <laughs> but that's true though, because your nature versus your nurture. Everybody in your nature cannot nurture you. Mm-hmm. But you have to know who needs to be in my nurture and who needs to be in my nature. And you need to remain in the nature. Mm-hmm. I like I like <laughs> I like <laughs> you, you can't be everywhere. Yes. And I, <laughs> I really had to realize that, and I realized that, you know, the women that I met in the other society, I was like, oh, these are some wonderful women. <laughs> like, they women, they love God, yeah. they in their word, but they also in their bag. Like, I'm like, yeah. I like You got to be both. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I need friends that are like this. <laughs> yeah. like, and I had realized, like, you know, I had to start separating myself from people who complained a lot. And yes. Who, you know, just found the downside to everything yeah and wasn't willing to make those extra strides yeah. and the women who were being attracted to me <laughs> and they wanted the same thing you know I basically had support into them and tell them like okay you want this to happen you got to stop complaining you got to yeah. stop doing this you got like they, yeah they're like well, I just need more of your time <laughs> like, and I felt the society chosen society was the best thing that I could have came up with wow um because for one other women were able to come together and network with each other. Mm-hmm. We're all on the same journey. Yeah. And we're all supporting each other on this journey. And that, that within itself, <laughs> it was like, look, I need you. You need, need me. me. So let's just be <laughs> with each other. And it's right. <laughs> like, let's, we can sit here and hold hands. <laughs> like whatever we need to do to get this thing going, like, let, let's do it. <laughs> so, so, and the thing was, like, I always tell people they doubt, Stepping into the business world, like starting their own business, do it. And I said, <laughs> do I it. I tell them all the time. I'm like, it start with starting. I'm, like, I'm scared of failure. I'm scared. Of... I'm like, no. Yeah. The only time you fail is when you don't begin. That's true. So, you already failed. So <laughs> welcome. Starting the starting child society all together was really based off of bringing women together who are on the same journey, who are you know building their relationship with God, but also trying to build up a business. Um, and also just, you know, every other, everything else, like we're human. We got things that we yeah. got to do. We got challenges that we're <laughs> overcoming. So it's like, you know, you just need that extra person to lean on sometimes. Yeah. And not everybody gets the journey that you're on. Mm-hmm. And to have somebody who is able to relate to you, that part, like that, that means the most. It, ma- me. it makes the difference. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's cause I'm like, sometimes like, I can't go over here and talk to my mama about yeah. this. <laughs> I can't go talk to my cousin and my aunt because they not going to get it. I so. can't talk to my old friends because, you know, they ain't living the life they're exactly. living right now. So, who am I talking to? So, starting the society was really, you know, a way to connect to other women who yeah. were, you know, getting into that. I'm ready to step into what I'm called to be. 
Wow. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> like, and that's and that's a lot of them say, like, I don't know how to do it. But it's like, okay, I know what I did to go ahead and get started. And I want to help you yeah. get to where you want to be. So let's, let's you know, do, do this together. Can. And I would, the other thing was, like, a lot of people told me to step into coaching. I was like, I don't want to do coaching. Yeah. I don't want to start a coaching business. I was yeah. like, I'd rather be, you know, a, li- <laughs> a little more chill, like yeah. a little more laid back, like, Let's upload this video yeah. and go back and watch it. <laughs> like watch it later. Yes, yes. But no, I, I definitely feel like a community, um, any community that what what you're trying to do is it's important. Like you have to surround yourself with like minded people. You do. So that that was the whole idea of the society is just surrounding myself with like minded people. Yeah. <laughs> At this point I'm starting to think you're just a people person because you have a tutoring business and then it just you have the society. So you just love all ages. <laughs> Sean loves all ages. <laughs> That's the crazy part. A lot of people are like, Oh, you just I'm like, I really <laughs> I'm really, really an it. introvert. If you, if you, I'm really an introvert. Um, st- honestly, stepping into business anyway is what has created me to be a people's person. Yeah. Because other than that, I'm like, I rather do this to myself. <laughs> but most introverts are though. Yes. Like, I'm a huge introvert, but if I have to do it, I'm gonna do it. And that's me. <laughs> they're like, and I have friends that's like. You always doing this and you're doing that, and I'm trying to do the same thing, but I don't like talking to people. And I'd be like, "Look, if you really know, if they really know, you really don't talk. You be in your office by yourself all day, just right here, all day until I look. <laughs> look, exactly. And it, has, it took me a minute to start creating talking videos, going live. I'm yeah. like, I'll dance in front of the camera a little bit, and then, <laughs> a little too, a little too stiff, a little stiff. Pull out the clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I'm I'm really not a I have been molded into a people's yeah. person since stepping into this journey. You're growing. Uh, yes. A strong mind. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so with growing strong mind, why did you name it growing strong mind? That's a good one. Um <laughs> it also goes back to Because you don't even have tutor in your no name like most people would. one thing about i didn't want tutoring and i didn't want that in the name i didn't want because for one people hear tutor and they think like oh she just helping people with their homework mm-hmm. she just helping my child you know with whatever it is that they doing in class that type of thing and i'm like no that is it's deeper than that yeah um that's good and even with naming my business growing strong minds that started when i was working in the exceptional ed classroom, like, I was looking at these kids like, y'all are smart. Like, <laughs> y'all are smart. Like, these labels don't mean nothing. Y'all are smart. And I just, I was like, you know what? It just takes somebody to give y'all that extra time mm-hmm. and to give y'all that extra attention. And I just thought, I'm like, we're really growing their minds. Like, <laughs> we're, we're growing strong minds. Wow. And that's what that's how I really ended up um coming up with the name for it is because I'm like a lot of people feel like their their kids may be you know, behind and it's like it's not that it's like they they have to grow yeah <laughs> every child doesn't learn the same mm-hmm. so you really have to figure out how can you grow their mind yeah and that's what made me think like I am helping <laughs> grow these <laughs> minds we're growing strong minds yeah. at that like not little basic minds. <laughs> like we're we're actually growing really strong minds yeah. that are gonna you know carry them on into adulthood. So that's what helped me come up with that name. That's good though because like if you think about it, like I feel like everybody needs a part in their life that they're getting tutored or a, in case mentor because it's really not tutorship. It's really mentorship. Mm-hmm. Like you're mentoring them into the next level. <laughs> everybody needs that. So everybody really should be paid. <laughs> like. Hey, I need a mentor. Like, yes. I need to learn this new season. Like, yes. I need to be doing this. Every, all of us are thrown together in the class. Like, I need yes. that one-on-one time. So mm-hmm. I feel like everybody needs to grow their strong mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> so when it comes to that, you know, since we talk about everybody needs it, mm-hmm. we gonna just hit on prices. You ain't gotta drop the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> drop the bomb. But like, when it comes to like pricing that out, how do you price like? training somebody in the education like how do you how do you price that when it comes to pricing it it's like 
to me, it's like, you know, there's not an amount when it comes to education. Like, we, we all need it. Yeah. Even as a business owner. Because think about how many <laughs> courses. I, I drop a money on a course <laughs> or a book. Me, that's me. I'm like, I will invest into, you know, someone teaching me yeah. how to grow within my business. So even when it comes to tutoring, it's like. I, I'm like it's it's a it's a amount like yeah. it should it should not be a certain amount yeah. when it comes to you know supporting these kids in their learning style, especially since a lot of kids today are behind. Like yeah. you would be amazed <laughs> at how how many people out here say my child is behind, and then like when I get with them and see where they where they are, I'm like oof, you behind. Like, but just think about like how many of us like when we were in school like. Got the college, like, ooh, I'm behind. <laughs> like, ooh, we. <laughs> yes. But even, like, even with kids today, you have kids that are in third grade, can't wow. read. You wow. have kids in fifth grade, cannot read. You have kids that get to middle school and they're reading on a first grade, second grade level. Wow. And it's like, you know, I have met parents that's like, I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> Teach my child. Teach my baby. <laughs> I, need, I need them to read. And it's so when it comes to pricing it, it's like I'm like, look, I'm I'm really on the charge of myself yeah. because it's a lot of work put into it. Um, they're getting individualized yeah. time. Like they're getting they're not in no group setting. It's like one on one. It's just me and them. <laughs> because for one, I feel like a lot of kids work better when they're alone and they that's how they boost their confidence up. And that's a lot that's another thing. A lot of kids are lacking confidence because they know they cannot read. That's good. So when we're in that setting by ourselves and they're not like, okay, it's just me and it's Miss Sh- Shun. And I always teach them, like, we learn from our mistakes. That's good. So when they like, oh, I messed up. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, you good. You good. Like, <laughs> that's again. What we, I'm like, that's what we're here for. Mess up. Mess so, up. like, if you mess up, that's what, guess what? we going to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, little Johnny. Yeah, right. <laughs> we and got this. Exactly. I have to, like, hype them up. So, yeah. so like, yeah, like, throw the, <laughs> I have on my computer, it's like, look, confetti. I'm like, let's throw some <laughs> Not confetti, the confetti out. <laughs> Like, we got bubbles. Like, Period. we do a little mic drop feature. We're going to drop the mic. mic. <laughs> so Pick it up tomorrow. It, it's all about, when it comes to that, it's like, you know, the it's an investment. And I always tell parents that it's, an, it's a commitment yeah. and it's an investment. That's good. And when it comes to, you know, investing in your child's future, this is their future. Yeah. A lot of people might look at it like, okay, this is <laughs> just getting them through elementary school. No. This is setting them up for middle school, high school. Life. Life. Because if you can't read, can't fill out a job can't application. Go, can't go to school. Right. Can't be the next president. <laughs> exactly. We need you. <laughs> they, like, uh, I, I did a college and career day um, recently. And I'm going to ask him, he's like, what you want to be when you grow up? Mm-hmm. I want to be a police officer. I want to be a teacher. I'm, and I'm looking at them. Uh, and the teachers are like. They need help. Like, and I'm like, Look. how are you going to read the post? I was like, yeah, I like to read. I was like, no, I don't like to read. Yep. And I'm like, well, it's going to be a lot of criminals out here. <laughs> you better learn to read. So when it, when it comes to, like, communicating prices, yeah. it's like, do you want to set your child up for a lifetime? Or, or you do you want them to struggle? Do you want to get those continuous phone calls from their teachers talking about wow. your child is looking at possible retention? And when it comes to that, it's like no amount of money is too much yeah. when it comes to investing in their future. Like they they need this. And it's going a thousand a week. <laughs> right. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> like reading is everywhere. And I really? have to communicate that to them too. Like, oh, they're slipping in their math. They're slipping in science. I don't know if it's a math thing. It's a re- and I have to tell them like if they can't read. Yeah. They're going to struggle in math. Mm -hmm. They're going to struggle in social studies. They're going to struggle in science. Yeah. Because guess what? You got to read in all of those subjects. Yeah. And, you know, I was complaining when I was, I was like, man, I'll never use this quadratic formula. Started a business. What? (laughs) Who thought? (laughs) Need a whole account. And, like, what's good? You got to know this stuff. You have to know. You got to know how to read. You got to know how to do math. You got to know how to do social studies. What's the start of your company? (laughs) Who started it? Like, you have to science, (laughs) create experiments. Business really do take ever, <laughs> and I it's some stuff that I be looking at like hmm, we did go over this, this in school is, yeah. like okay yeah I, now I see what we we like yeah. oh we I don't need this but now <laughs> we need now it. it's like 
okay, maybe I did need that. <laughs> like, I need that little bit. Exactly. So, look, thank you, teachers. Like, like, all my the... teachers from high school, middle school, like, yeah. shout out to y'all. <laughs> Elementary. Even though I didn't listen sometimes. <laughs> I was bad. Yes. Pop quiz, bad. <laughs> but do you teach that, though? Like, how to be more confident when, like, taking tests and stuff? Like, is that a part of, like, yeah. tutoring and stuff that you do? Yes, especially around... When they're getting ready to take like Georgia Milestone, mm. um, any state test. Oh, so it's not CRCT. And it's no longer called CRCT. Mm-hmm. And only third third through eighth grade are the only ones who take it now. What? So I'm like, when we was in school, I started Ooh. first, was it first grade, kindergarten? Like, we was like, test- first grade? Right. <laughs> like, I'm like, we was testing. I know. What was it? I passed my CRCT. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But now, we had pep rallies to get exactly, ready. <laughs> but now it's just third to eighth grade, wow. and I kind of push it a lot more around that time because students are experiencing test anxiety. I know I experienced test anxiety Too. when I when I was younger, so I have a lot of kids that's like, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Like, and I'm just like, okay. But I I created a program solely for test prep. Wow. Because it's like. These tests, believe it or not, some of these tests are designed to trick the students yeah. and designed to place them in summer school, mm. some desi- designed to place for them to fail. Wow. And I have to teach them, like, you have to pay attention to keywords. Yeah. You have to pay attention to how they are wording this question because if you don't pay attention to it, it's going to trick you. Yeah. And you're going to get it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and That's real life, though. Yes. If you don't pay attention, you're going to get it wrong exactly. and you're going to be in some trouble. Like, exactly. It's really preparing you for life. It, exactly. Because <laughs> I'm like, life is one big test in the end of <laughs> That's a pop quiz every day. <laughs> exactly. Like, well, I don't know what I'm, I'm getting into today, today <laughs> but we're going to see. <laughs> so even with the test prep, it's like, Okay, I, I, I have to communicate this and build their confidence up and let them know that even if you don't, if you feel like you didn't do your best, you you did. Yeah. Don't feel like you failed life just because, you know, what if you do fail? If you failed the test, don't feel like you failed in life because you didn't. That's cool. Even when it comes to students who have to be retained, I like to motivate them and tell them, like, you get, you get a fresh start. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guess what? The kids that's coming in here, they don't know nothing about this stuff, but guess you what? Know. You do. That's good. So don't I always like to look at the positive side of things yeah. and just tell my students, like, regardless of your mess up, yeah. regardless, you still good. Yeah. Like, guess what? You tried. Yeah. You gave it your all. You got you tried. You gave it your all. You remember what I told you. You yeah. remember what your teachers told you. You remember, you know, what mom and dad told you. Yeah. So all that's all that matters. And guess what? You mess up, we're gonna fix it. Yeah. Talk <laughs> about it. So when they hear that, they they're like, Okay, I got this. And it's then like, they go do it. Yes. So I'm like, I just stay back. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's all they some students need is just like that extra person yeah. in their corner that's just like, okay. Yeah. She told me I could do it. I could do it. So, that's, that's good. And that's all they need to hear. That, and when you tell them, you can do it, they're like, I can? Me? Like, yeah, you. Like, yes. That's 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 good because, like, a lot of people think, like, the confidence is really the biggest part. It is. In tutoring itself, but I also think for parents, like, they need to be confident in their child. Like, mm-hmm. your child can be better than what the school is saying that they are like your child can be better yes. and I think a lot of parents need to say hey even though I can't do it somebody's out there that can do it mm-hmm. and they need to get with growing strong minds because growing strong minds can help your child <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah growing yeah. strong minds <laughs> but, but no that's, that's that's honestly true um I have had parents who I recently spoke to lately um for one I have a client her daughter it was diagnosed with ADHD <sighs> And when I met her, she was reading below grade level. She mm-hmm. was in first grade, and she was reading, like, well on a beginning. She was, like, at the lowest, <laughs> at the bottom, real? bottom. And she came to me back in November, and she was, like, in tears, like, I don't know what to do. You know, I feel like I just I just did all that I can. And I had to give her a pep talk and tell her, like, you know, the schools are doing what they can. Yeah. They don't have enough hours in a day to go back and play catch-up. Yeah. That's just honest, like. A lot of teachers are teaching all subjects now, especially in elementary school. Sure, and since COVID, 
the class sizes are bigger. You're yeah. looking at one teacher to 30 kids. Wow. So they don't have the time to, like, give each child an individual attention and time. And I'm like, as parents, I'm like, I know you all have your lives. You might have multiple kids. Mm -hmm. And doing what you can, like, just giving them 45 minutes of your day, 30 minutes of your day yeah. to go over something that they went over in school, that can sometimes be enough. But if you see an issue – Get on top of it ahead of time. Yeah. Do not like look and think like, oh, they'll get they'll past. Be all right. They'll get it's past the hump. Yeah, like that. They'll get past the hump. Like once your child present and say like, fix it. Like you need to get on top of it because yeah. get, when you just let it go on and on, it like it's, it's hard to to make up. And even for this parent, I had to tell her, regardless of you know what the doctors has diagnosed her her child with. And she was like, I don't want, want to put her on no meds. Okay. And that's one thing. I, mm. Don't accept it. <laughs> no. And I had to tell her, I was like, you know, I think she just needs some extra time. She just yeah. needs extra one-on-one -on -one time with somebody. And I started tutoring her. And then eventually she went from reading below grade level to on grade level. Wow. And it's the end of the school year. School just got out. And now she's reading above grade level. Mm. So she has went from reading on a kindergarten level to a first grade level wow. to now she's not even in second grade <laughs> and she's reading on a second grade level. And I tell her mom, like, see, like, you know, giving her that extra time, giving her that extra attention, but also, you know, believing in yourself and knowing like, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something about my baby catching it <laughs> on that. I was like, you, you should apply yourself for that. Wow. Cause a lot of parents don't do it. And I have to speak that into my parents too. Like, you just booking a console call. <laughs> you just booking a discovery call with me is yeah. a step because you realize that something is, you know, there is something that you need to do more to help your child. What's the prices? What's the minimum to the max? So, I'm going to speak on my upcomer. She's going to crush y'all heart. Well, somebody give you a disclaimer. <laughs> Look, heart going to be crushed. Upcom <laughs> my upcoming summer, pro summer program is at 1400 that's not bad and it honestly is not bad because for one you have to think about it it's a lot put into it yeah for one um your child isn't just getting someone that's sitting down with them working on something from the school year this is a curriculum that was created by me oh well so they get like a whole curriculum mm -hmm. oh y'all learn it for real for real y'all learn it this for ain't real. these old school <laughs> tutors back in the day no go see that miss maddie house or whoever house <laughs> i love them though yeah <laughs> look i learned from yeah, them <laughs> but no it's it's a lot more put into it like i'm actually sitting down i have to assist students yeah where are you where do we where do we need to go next what do you need to know for the next grade level and the other thing with it is like we're backtracking. Mm. So if your child is reading on a first grade level, but they're in fourth grade, mm. now I have to go back and evaluate to see what the problem is. Like, what is it? Is it a phonics problem? Like, or a they... whole experiment, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> it, the, didn't we learn about that? Is it with yep. observations? And yeah, stuff? like I, I got analysis. Exactly. <laughs> I got to go back and see. Like, okay, what is it? Like. Yeah. What is what is causing them not to be able to comprehend what they're reading? Mm -hmm. Why aren't they able to read? Sometimes students, it's, it's a phonic skill that was lost along the way. Yeah. And we need to go back <laughs> and we need to reteach that. No, I feel like I should have went to that class. Yeah. <laughs> because my grandma did not teach me how to talk right. Yeah. Because <laughs> I be making up my own words. They be like, what is that? Exactly. Like, girl, my it, grandma. <laughs> it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole thing. Like, you know, if you're fluency, if they're not reading, you know, fast enough mm -hmm. and we don't want them to read too fast we don't want them to read too slow we want them to read at a comfortable space that's good and if you're reading too slow and you focusing on one word you're gonna forget everything you just read yeah but if you're reading too fast and breathing through it you can't even tell me what you just read because you read too fast through that whole For thing real? yes that's what it be yes i didn't know that. yes <laughs> See, learn so Look, I'm, my mind is growing. Work, growing work strong mind. Work on your fluency. That is for real. See? And I talk real fast. Yeah. So it's, oh, did you say yes? <laughs> <laughs> but no, honestly, yes. Um, you have to see like what it, what is it? Are you reading? Are the students reading too slow? Is it a phonics skill that they're not getting? Is it 
like a phonemic awareness thing. Like they're not able to hear the sounds mm-hmm. and process the word. That that comes with writing. Like, wow. you know, knowing what letter make what sound together. So we have to focus on that for one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after, you know, I have assessed them, each child has their own individualized goals. Like, okay, this is where I'm going to use the name you used early, mm-hmm. Lil Johnny. Lil Johnny. <laughs> this is what Lil Johnny is. <laughs> and this is why he's not able to do academically well in um school because he can't read. Mm. Um, He's not able to break down the words. Wow. So now I have to create a plan for Lil Johnny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how long does that take? To see growth, it usually takes, I'll give him about four, four weeks. Understand. But how long does it take for you to create the curriculum? That's a whole nother amount of time. Oh, uh, see, <laughs> I have built on the curriculum. Mm-hmm. So, and it's all from past experience, past things. So, you know, it might be certain things that another child had the same, <laughs> had the same issue with. So I like to pick from those. I don't give them the same thing because no child learns the same. Mm. So I have to figure out, okay, like what interests you? Yeah. One child loves unicorns. So I'm like, I got to get a whole bunch of stuff with <laughs> unicorns. We got to have some unicorn graphics wow. on the screens. Let's read some stories about wow. unicorns. Um, Even when it comes to teaching them how to pronounce words, like, okay, we might have some unicorn flashcards or mm. something for you to sit here and work with. But so you meet them where they are and yes. bring them to another level. That's mm-hmm. good. Yes. It's, that's what it's all about is, you know, figuring out like, what is, what is it? Evaluate the problem, mm-hmm. set the goals. And then we begin to work on them. Let's let's elevate to the next yeah. level. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's and even when parents feel like, okay, we we done did these three months. My child has made progress. And at the end of those three months, I'm like, okay, well, this is where they was when we first met. This is where they are now. This is what they need to be. <laughs> and even with that, it's like you know, I always tell people, learning is a journey. Mm. So we are navigating through this thing, figuring out, okay, what's the next step? Just because they don't met this goal. And even for the ones who have went from reading below grade level to on grade level, I'm like, okay, let's let's step it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's go a little further. How are you good let, at reading word problems? <laughs> right. Let's let's put them above. That's good. Let's go let's go one step forward and place them ahead. And that's also what it is for the summer too. It's like, okay, this time summer this is if your child is behind. This is the perfect time for your child to catch up. Mm. <laughs> like this, you got what two months, two three months, months really? Yes, yeah, really, because they, you know, school just got out. Yeah, you start, and I always tell them, start at the beginning. Yeah, don't let them. It's a summer break, but <laughs> it come on back. <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't no break from learning. <laughs> so yeah. even with that, it's like you know, if your child is struggling now, summer is the the best. It's the best. It's the best They're not at school all day. Yeah. They are not focused on what they learned at school mm-hmm. and trying to, figure, you know, take in what you're teaching them. They're able to focus solely on what you are giving them. So once you give them this time to work on, you know, their weaknesses, when they go back to school, because the beginning of the school year is really like review from the previous grade. So when they go back to school and they working on those stuff from <laughs> from third grade, they don't went to fourth grade, now they working on stuff from third grade. And the the teachers are there at this time the teachers are comparing their scores from last year mm-hmm. and they're getting ready to, you know, test yeah. them again to see where they are at the beginning of the year. So if they see like, oh, this child was like real low at the like they <laughs> wouldn't even know what near. And then. now they're here. And now they're here like something clicked. <laughs> right. Like what y'all was doing over something? Growing so, <laughs> Right. <laughs> So it's like when I tell parents that they're like, I ain't never thought of it like that. I'm like, yeah. yes, because I said I tell them all the time, like a lot of parents who, you know, are setting their kids up for success, they're taking advantage of what, you know, most people see as a break. Yeah. They're not giving their kids no break. No. Like, okay, an hour a day, you going to sit here. And you, read. And you're going to read. You're going to work on this work. That problem. You're going to do something. Yeah. Versus some, they're like, okay. Go get the tablet and get in my face. Yeah. And Dang. and it's like, you, you can't do that. So it takes work outside, like mm-hmm. building that community. So really, you're not really just paying for 1400 for tutoring. Mm-mm. You're also a part of, like, a community. Like, you're having, like, somebody to take the time that you don't have 
to spend with your child and impart them and help them go to the next level. So yes. really, on, on top of <laughs> you know giving them that, that's better awesome. than a babysitter. <laughs> let me say, <laughs> and even not only that, you know, you got someone that's you know always looking and figure out what's the next steps, but you also have someone coaching parents and teaching parents. Like, yeah. I also whatever activities I do with my students during our sessions, they all have their own online portal. Mm. So when we are done, that activity goes to their portal, and I tell parents like, "This is what we worked on today. You got a video of me instructing you how to do it, how we did it." Oh wow! So sit down with them. when we're not together. You need to be sitting down <laughs> and working on this with them. So it's not like you know that fourteen hundred is like, oh, I'm getting a lot for this, and that's what a lot of my parents say. Like, I want to know how I can teach my child at home. Oh, I got you. Go on your portal. Go on your portal. That's good. <laughs> Go on your portal. Here goes an activity that we worked on today. Wow. Here goes the worksheet to go with it. I'm showing you how to basically read the words or help them read and blend the words. There you go. Wow. <laughs> so it's it's like, it's for people here 1400 like, ooh, <laughs> just for tutoring? <laughs> but I'm like, you have to think about like what's all included. You're getting too. everything. You're getting everything that's helping you and your child out. Yeah. It's, it's helping people with ADHD, yes. dif- like like difficulties, like in like their mind makeup. Like you're helping like the whole spectrum. <laughs> like so, it's it's worth it. Like. Yes, just like it's, it's worth it. So does it start at fourteen hundred, or does it like prices increase like with different like levels? So for summer, it's it starts at fourteen hundred, but as school begins, it, the price increase mm-hmm. because you have more time with me. Yeah. So over the summer, you only have six weeks with me. Mm. versus when school starts back you have three months <laughs> that's that's the and i always tell them you gotta commit if you want to see your child you know make some some yeah. progress you want you got and i always ask parents at the beginning of our discovery call what are your goals for your child oh, shit. and when they tell me like oh i want them to be reading confidently i yeah. at least want them to you know go from being afraid to Raise their hands who wanted to raise their hand. That's mm-hmm. what I want for my child. I don't want them to act up in class no more. Yeah. And I tell them, like, okay, it's a commitment. Three months. <laughs> if you can pay for your child to do sports, you can pay for your child to learn. Yes. Because they're not going to play them sports if they don't know how to read them play. Mm-mm. <laughs> I and brought I, it home. Yeah. She teach you how to read plays. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but we're going to say that. Yes. But de- <laughs> definitely, and that's something I have to tell them, too. Like, you know. As we we see parents, you know, they they spend all this money on everything else for their kids. Mm-hmm. You're spending money on, you Jordan. know, Jordans, iPhones, yeah, tablets. You like spend some money on that brain. Yes, and you like don't just you know pay for what that people gonna see on the outside. Yeah, you gotta pay, the inside pay for. Cause I'm like you know the the cute. I love the cute little kids mm-hmm. and you know the ones that be dressed. But can you read? Can you? Do you know <laughs> what's your name? Yes. Can you spell your name for me? Yeah. What does your name start? And with? not Jumbo. Right. Your name ain't Jumbo. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I have your name one. is Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and I I had a student that was like that. I was like, you know, they came to school. I'm like, okay, what's your name? My name is Fat Fat. Not I'm Fat like, Fat. What's your real your name? name? Like, and what's we your... see her like, you know, going down the road like. Who is this kid? Yeah. And they couldn't even tell us their name. Couldn't even sign up for a ticket. Like, they, they couldn't. And I'm like, that's because you've been, you know. But yeah. they, And they were so cute. They was dressed real cute. Wow. And Did not know that. But they, they couldn't tell me their name. See, <laughs> this is why you can't be calling a child a little fat fat all the time. <laughs> call them by their name. I'm like, I'm like, please call them by their name. name. <laughs> Especially, like, if they get ready to go to kindergarten. What's our love, fat fat? Like we we not calling yeah. them fat fat at school. Johnny, I, we, I'm gonna call you by your name. Yeah. We're not calling yeah. you fat fat. No, no. <laughs> That's uh-uh. crazy. <laughs> so with the summer, what is the summer program? So the summer program, um, I have been talking about beat the slump, mm. and she love a little good colloquialism. You know, you love that. The, beat the slump. Hold on, what's the uh the little mascot name? What's his name? Uh, Buster. Buster. Buster had it. She got Buster. Buster. She was like, hey, did you meet Buster? Yes. She y'all. was riding around her parade with Buster on the car. Yeah. Buster the Berniac. Don't, don't, don't play with him. BB. Yes. This, this my boy. <laughs> but, but, but no, um, the summer slump, um, they always 
some people may call it the summer slide, summer slump. And it's where, you know, kids go six weeks with no instruction. And they yeah. lose two months of what they have learned from the previous school year. That's true. So I have created a program that is designed towards, you know, making sure we're going over mm-hmm. what, you know, they worked on during the previous school year, but preparing them for it. The next school year mm-hmm. because that's the whole th- we want them ahead yeah. like if catch up like yeah. that, that's the whole <laughs> point of the program is like we're catching up but this year i, I made it real cute um <laughs> real cute real cute um because i'm like okay it's summertime but i, I also want y'all to feel like you know it's summertime mm-hmm. and also being that i'm a virtual tutor mm. um it's like i always have to think outside the box how can I keep your child focused? And that's in the one th- summer. Yeah, in the summer. <laughs> and that's something a lot of parents always ask me, like, how you gonna do how you like how you do this? <laughs> like, I don't think my child gonna focus on the bird. And I'm like, they watch YouTube, they watch TikTok, they they playing Roblox in Minecraft. They they can pl- they they can sit on this computer for an hour. Google they do work. it anyway. But that's true. <laughs> but it's, Put it on their iPad. <laughs> exactly. Put it on their iPad. Click, go on your portal. Exactly. <laughs> but even for the summer, created this cute little um, program. We're calling it Book a Trip. Mm. And, you know, book. <laughs> no, oh. we, we, a book. book. I told y'all she loved to look. <laughs> <laughs> book. We not, look, we not had going on a real trip, but we're going to see how these books could take us to some That's places. That's good. So it's really steered towards, you know, helping kids, preventing the slump, like helping them not fall into that summer slump and fall into that summer slide because at the end of the day, like, we, like, especially for our black and brown babies. Mm. They are the ones who are targeted the most. Yeah. Like you, you see so many. I have never met so many people come to me, especially in our community. Their their teachers trying to say, you know, they're dyslexic. They are trying to say that my child is ADHD. Wow. And a lot of times it's not that. Yeah. They it's it's not that. They just need a little more help. They it's need a little more a, a extra push. Yeah. So I'm like, it's, think of ways that we can prevent this. The summer, the summer program is helping prevent this. We don't want you to get into the school <laughs> next year, and you know you calling me at the at, towards the end of the school year, and like, oh, I just had a parent teacher conference with my my child's teacher, and they talking about retaining them. Wow. They they talking about you know I might need to go get them tested, <laughs> like all these type of stuff. Things are arising. Yeah. And sometimes the main thing is like catching it before it's too late. Yeah. Catch, get ahead before go it's too late. Like, go, go ahead and start. They, they're they going into a new grade. They don't know what they finna do in there. Exactly. You get that little <laughs> syllabus be looking crazy. They they do not know what's the, what's coming up into the next grade. Yeah. So it's like, give them that opportunity to just go ahead and be ahead. Yeah. Like, you you go ahead and jump on top of that. You, they they going to be good. You not getting no phone calls talking about little Johnny can't read. <laughs> And Lil Johnny need to stay back in third grade. Oh, no. Lil Johnny was helping their partner. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Lil Johnny is in front of the classroom reading books. Look, I can't tell Lil Johnny stop raising his hand and let somebody else, you know, answer the question. Yeah. That is what we want, especially when it comes to, like I said, our black and brown babies. Because, you know, right now, I was reading around the time that testing was beginning or starting, I was reading about how many kids you know that are african-american that are failing wow and it's all because of home yeah it, uh, it's all because of home. home and i was just so shocked like no like not not my people yeah. like, Why? like and i'm like we gotta do better with this yeah. and that just that just hit for me like all of our like and it, it was like mainly the males and it talked about how the females, how the young girls, like, they act out at school because, you know, they they don't know how to do it. They they are skipping class. They're skipping yeah. school. They're, you know, seeking for attention because they don't know how to do things. It's like, okay, what are we doing? Yeah. Stop <laughs> worrying about product and bundles. Right. <laughs> what, what are we doing? <laughs> parents, what it, like, it's yeah. like, what are you doing? And that's, that's something else that I ask parents a lot, too. Like, what have you been doing? Yeah. I think a lot of black and brown parents think they have to focus on work, mm-hmm. trying to, like, prove a point instead of saying, I can prove a point with my child learning. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, like, our biggest issue. Like, 
we so worried about what we got on <laughs> than what we got in us. <laughs> yeah, like, and it's, it's like sometimes and people know, like, I'll go to work. And I, I would not look my best. <laughs> and I'm Sweatpants like, and a t-shirt. I'm like, look, it is what it is. Yeah. I throw on a little t-shirt and leggings. And I'm just like, you know, as long as I'm in here and I'm able to be, you know, productive. be productive, give these students what they need, like, that's all that matters. Yeah. Sometimes it's not always about what's on the outside. Like, you know, we you look cute. You look cute. But what can you do? Like, yeah. like what's what's going on in the brain? Yeah. Like, like what, what's, what's going on up yeah. there? Yeah. So it's it's just like you know it, it goes back to always to like it takes a village for one yeah but true learning and teaching starts at home yeah because your parents build your confidence first exactly before anybody else can build the mom and dad has yes, to build the confidence your, your parents are like or the, the grandma grandma auntie <laughs> yeah whoever and it's like okay you get you get frustrated when they do their work yeah take a break yeah who said that all their work had to be on Medea. <laughs> I think about <laughs> about the way out. <laughs> she got frustrated. <laughs> don't be like her. Don't be like but then. But you like we have to we have to pay attention to stuff like that. Like we can't sit up here and get frustrated with them because you get frustrated with them, that's gonna flow into how they perform. Wow. Even if you get frustrated with them before they go to school, save that. Save that to yeah. after they get home. That nature. Like, save that to after they get home because yeah. you, you fussed at them before they get on that bus. Guess what? Now they in school, they finna have a bad day. Yeah. Or they gonna start fussing. <laughs> yeah. With the teacher. Yeah. You messing with or, their or, nature. And then sometimes, you know, the t- teachers are human too. Yeah. The teacher gonna be fussed like, why you ain't got your pencil? Yeah, I'm not prepared. Like, but you you don't you don't know what he just did on like what just yeah. happened before they got here. Yeah. So that like that's the thing. Like we have to make sure you know we are act- actively boosting their confidence mm-hmm. because if not, and they get to school and they see this other child over here thriving, like oh they got everything right. Yeah. Then they get envious. Yes. You don't want nobody to get envious, <laughs> yes. and it's not like on purpose. It's like. She getting it, but why can't I? Why can't I? Or even at home, I have one parent. She has two kids that are around the same age, and the younger child is a little more advanced than her child that's struggling. Mm. And she's like, when they're working together, like the the daughter, she's she's always barking the answer, and they're like, wait, no, let him try. And I remember working with him, and he was like, my sister can read better than me. Wow. And it, it hurt me when he said that. <laughs> that I was hurt. like I was like, huh? He's like, I can't read. I'm not a good reader. My teacher, my 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 sister is better than me. And I was like, No, don't don't mm. say that. I'm like, You're a good reader too. I'm like, I'm I'm having to <laughs> affirm to him, like, no, you're good, you're yeah. doing your best. Like, you know, sh- you you're doing good. Yeah. And I have to like also explain to parents too, like, you know, don't compare one child to the other. I'll keep That's on learning the same. That's big. Do, do. Stop, and stop comparing yourself. Like, you're not the same parent exactly. to every child. Like, it's exactly. a different parent. <laughs> and that's, that's my thing. I'm like, you you can't keep, you know, you can't compare yeah. how he is learning to how she's learning. Because mm-hmm. they're they're not going to learn the same. I don't learn the same as you do. Exactly. <laughs> like, I have to tell people that I'm like, it's, it's different. I'm yeah. a visual learner. Yeah. I have to see it in, able, in order to get it. I can't just read it all the time. And so I got to laugh about it. <laughs> so it's the That's same. That's why I made my business career to focus because I don't be focused sometimes. It's okay. So it's, and that's the thing. Like, you know, you just give, give them some give them some space. Yeah. Give them, like, you know, give them, for one, give them that individual time, too. And, you know, figure out different ways for them to learn. You don't have to sit down with a worksheet. Yeah, I tell people all the time, y'all riding in the car, tell them read street sign. Yeah, that's tr- that's <laughs> reading. You read today. You read. Go in the grocery store. Yeah. Or oh, why you looking at little YouTube? <laughs> what sign did you see? On exactly. There? Find different ways yeah. for them to read. I, and I'm like, you know, you trying to teach them sight words. Type type the sight word next to the door. And when they walk through the door, have them read that sight word. That's smart. Learning. Y'all gotta pay for that. <laughs> Like, I ain't gonna give y'all too much. Yeah, fourteen hundred, fourteen hundred for this summer only. <laughs> Three thousand <laughs> for the darn school. <laughs> no, I don't know, but for real, you. I think everybody should pay for that. Like, it's just worth it. Mm-hmm. It's it's worth. And, it. and I, I'm telling people like, I ain't making you pay it up front. Like, oh, they got payment plans. We got payment plans. Oh, period. Y'all tripping? We got payment plans. <laughs> what you mean? 
you pay for Netflix. Exactly. Just Netflix like you pay, you pay for Netflix, Netflix Amazon Prime, like Ooh. you Ooh. know, this like Hulu. <laughs> Like it's, we got payment plans, yeah. we got installments. Like we, you know, I work with you now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, if, if your child know what who ghost is, and not the Holy Ghost, I ain't talking about the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about the ghost, <laughs> and don't know how to read, then you need to go ahead and book. Exactly. <laughs> so how does the payment plan work? Like you divide it up, or it just cut, like part of it come out every month? Or yes. You work with their budget. I, I I really try my hardest to work within their budget, mm-hmm. but I I split it. Split it as much as I can. <laughs> Ain't gonna split it too low. Yeah, yeah. But, but I split can't be no twenty dollars a week. Because no this ain't no twenty dollar tutoring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this I have a cell phone. Like somebody's like, ooh, that much. I'm like, look, you want McDonald's prices? You go. You down. gonna go McDonald's? You want Chick Fil A experience? You gonna you gonna, you gonna pay for that Chick Fil A experience yeah. over here? So, this, the real deal. so that, that, this is the real deal. So you, this you ain't know, even Burger King. You want some high quality, like you. What it's, you want? It comes with a fee. Yeah. But I definitely, you know, work with pricing because you know I have a lot of parents. You know, I have single parents mm. and all of that type of stuff. And I'm like, you know, they they want help. They yeah. want to be able to provide this for their kids. And that's the best part. Yes, and I'm especially when I see my single moms out here doing it. I'm like, girl, kudos to you, cause <laughs> do it. <laughs> yes, and especially I like seeing some that have multiple kids, like five and six kids, and yeah. you. And I have one parent that she she started. She was like, oh, she's in here. Guess what? Her sister's coming next, and the other sister coming next. And <laughs> she's like, you the whole family, the whole family is coming through. And I'm like, oh, even okay. a mama. Look, <laughs> she's like, you be teaching me. <laughs> like, if I teach you, yes, yes. <laughs> So how do you balance that? Like, you know, we're going to get a little personal. I'm sorry. We, we're going to get a little personal. How do you balance growing strong minds in your personal life? How do you balance that? It's, that's a lot. It's, <laughs> and I, I know I have a hard time balancing my it's, life. It's hard. I'm not even going to, like, try. I'm not going to front or nothing. It's hard. But I have to, I have had to get to the space where it's like, okay, Sean, you did enough today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I try to make it especially like during the school year and of course I'm having to be up later. Yeah. I have to give myself a cutoff. Like, okay, eight, nine, we're done. Like we, we closing up the laptop, we leaving the office, we going home. But I also like try to I don't want to be too absent from my business because yeah. I did go through a season where I wasn't like in the forefront. I wasn't intentional. I wasn't like giving it my all Mm -hmm. and I saw the difference and it's like now it's like okay I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure I don't go back down that road because these people need me yeah like they 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 need me so now it's like I have created a schedule like okay Monday we working on content (laughs) this ain't me my nuts and honestly sometimes I get away from this yeah but it's also to like finding different ways for me to like different places to work um because sometimes I can get to a point where I'm in the office too long <laughs> and I'm like all right I done been into this room ain't no windows in here <laughs> let's let's go somewhere else and sometimes I'm like okay let's go to the coffee shop let's go to the park and sit at the park and have the iPad and mm-hmm. doing some things and then I also try to make sure like when it comes to family I always tell my family I tell my family all the time, don't tell me something the week of. Because yeah. it's not going to happen. Yeah. Do, do not. A month in advance. We'll you, I'm like, you got to tell me. And I, same thing for my friends. Like, me and one of my friends, I, we joke about it all the time because she's a business owner. I'm a business owner. And we joke about, like, okay, what's on your calendar for this month? <laughs> we ain't seen each other since, since oh, the beginning of the year. So, summertime coming up. What's what's on your calendar? <laughs> And I have to tell people, and even when it comes to, like, my friends who, I'm out, you know, I'm still young, you know, yeah. still want to go to festivals and all that type of stuff. And I have my friends that are like, okay, day of, on Fridays, I'm like, look, Friday night, that's my rest night. Like, yeah, don't, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Don't, don't come to me. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, after I done rested up, okay, Saturday, let's, you know, we, we can have a little day date. So let's go for some. Listen to day date. Day date. You got a man. Day, look, day date. <laughs> And then that's the other thing, too. I'm like, you know, even with, you know, different relationships, you know, 
I'm like, I'm a daughter, for one. Yeah. I'm the only girl. So I'm like, my mom be looking for me like, <laughs> all right, I ain't had no time with my daughter. Yeah. Like, was, And then I have brothers. I have yeah. younger brothers. They're 14 and 7. And you have to tutor them, too, for free. <laughs> so even with them, I have to give them their time. Because when I come home, even if I come home late, my 14-year-old brother's like, you got home late last night. Where you was at? <laughs> Who you been I, I was like, I was working. I heard tell them folks Thank that. Dad. He'd be like, tell them folks that you need to cut that off. And I'm like, it's, it's stuff like, but I'm like, but Jay, I, he's like. Who is you? You're 14. <laughs> exactly. He's like, I'm just saying, it's too late to be out. And I'm, yeah. and he like, he's looking at my location <laughs> to see where I'm at. But yeah. even with them, it's like, okay, I have to give my brother's time. You yeah. know, I'm in a relationship myself, so I'm like, I, I have to be present within my relationship Ooh. and, get, and give, give him time. Because yeah. I'm like, if I don't do that, I'm like, damn, he, he, hey, we ain't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And even even with dad and, you know, even with um my bonus daughter, like, she, she calls – I'm like, all right, look, I'm going to call you when I get done. Can't talk right so I'm like, I can't talk. And I always try to make sure if she calls me, I try to make sure that I call back. Yeah. Because I'm like, okay, y'all are important to me too. That's good. So I have to give everybody their time. And then when it comes to, you know, business stuff, it's like, okay, I'm giving you y'all, y'all time, but. You got to let me get my let, time Let too. me get my time in too. <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm going to give y'all, yeah. even like now. School is out. Mm-hmm. So I decided that, okay, first two weeks of the summer, I'm not tutoring. Yeah. Not going to tutor at all. We're going to pick up on the 12th. <laughs> and, and I pull her right on out for a podcast. Right. <laughs> and I was like, okay, like, we're we going to pick up on the 12th, and we're going to have that last week of July, no tutoring. And I'm, I'm seeing, like, okay, Sean, you got to incorporate births for yourself, too. That's true. Like, you had, like, I have to look at, I look at my calendar now ahead of time. All right, when well, is a good time for me to give myself a break? And I have to communicate that to my parents too. I, I always tell them my schedule. And I tell them ahead of time, like, look, <laughs> uh, I need a me day. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, it's a good thing that I have parents who are in my corner and they're like, oh, we understand, Miss Sean, get your rest. Like, because <laughs> I, I have experienced burnout. Yeah. Burnout to the point where I'm crying in my car and people don't know. Like, and I go in the house, and I'm, I done wiped up the tears, and don't nobody know, like, oh, she was just in her car crying. But I have experienced burnout where I'm at the point, like, God, show me. Yeah. <laughs> like, sh- sh- like, even, do this, Lord. That even made me think about, like, leaving my last job and going into working in the schools as tutoring. I had to think about, you know, the sacrifices I was making. Like, okay, you can't get your summer check no more. <laughs> but at the same time, it was like, you know, this was a balance for me. This was a great balance for me because when I was working full time for the school system, it was like, okay, I have to be there at 7. Don't get off to 3. Have to go tutor at 4. Tutoring from 4 to 8. And it's like some, some days I was forgetting to eat. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was forgetting to eat. Sundays, I was coming, I was developing headaches. Like, it was, it was just so much. And so I had to make the, the shift. And a lot of people were like, you're going to take a pay cut. And I'm like, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Like, if this is what's going to bring me peace, I, I'm going to, I'm okay with it. Like, I can't lose sight of my business because yeah. this is going, this is something that's going to set me up for a lifetime. And it's really not a pay cut. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, if I could be more, a little more into this. Yeah. That's going to surpass. Yes. <laughs> that, so, that, so that was one thing that I had to do to create balance within my life was switch jobs. I had to switch and go into tutoring for a company into the school and where I was working from 7.30 to 2. Now I have a break. I, I don't forget to eat now. Yeah. We don't have no break. We went from make work in 9 to 5 to 24. Exactly. Seven. Like, a business owner right. definitely don't have a break. <laughs> But you can I, eat. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make sure you eat though. Eat, eat, but eat. I, I had to create that break because even when I went to the doctor and it was like, your weight don't went up. <laughs> your They'll weight, tell you that your, quick. your weight don't went up, you anemic, like all this type of stuff. And I'm like, I didn't know this. Like <laughs> And it's been like, I don't receive that. <laughs> right. I and send I'm, it back to you. Yeah. I'm like that well, you're fat. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, I ain't going to claim that, it, but okay, I know what to look out yeah, for now. Like but me. <laughs> right. Even with that, though, I was like, you know, I got to be a little more active. So yeah. even with being able to get off it, too, 
and have a break from two to five. I don't have the two to two five. Oh, well, that's good. So it's like, okay, now I can go, you know, if I need to grab some food from mm-hmm. home and take it to the office to warm up later, I can go do that. I can go walk around the parking lot at the office. I can go to the gym. Like, I'm, I'm able time. to be, yeah. And even with that, it's like, okay, if my mom needs me to go, Take my brother to football practice. You can do it. I can go take him to football practice and not like, oh, my mom can't do it. Or even like my brother, he's transitioned from eighth grade to ninth grade. Now he he's playing high school football. I'm like, oh, okay. Now you're able to now be Now I'm like, okay, now I got to be able to be off on Friday. <laughs> it's by a certain and I'm time. And night time at Friday. <laughs> it's, no, Friday nights, we, <laughs> we got to be at the stadium. Like, those things. But I'm like, I couldn't do that. I yeah. could not do that. And I felt like, you know, working at my last job, it's like, I ain't got no life. Yeah. All I do is work. And now it's like, okay, now we got a life. Mm-hmm. Now we know that, you know. <laughs> you can take your little time. I can take my time. I can take my break. I can give my brothers the attention they need. My family in general, like, I'm able to give everybody the attention that they need that I couldn't before because I had to maximize my time. Yeah. But now it's like, okay, your time is flexible. Yeah. If I need to push up a session, I can push up a session because I have the time during the day. Yeah. I don't have to wait till Saturday morning until, you know, make up mm-hmm. a session. I'm like, the Saturday mornings be hard to get up out of bed. <laughs> One like that. Especially at the end, I'm like, okay, you know, then it's like things started interfering with church. And I'm like, I don't like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Miss my church. You mess, with, you mess with me up with going to church. And I don't like that. Yeah. Then, you know, I'm a pastor to calling me out on the live. <laughs> Like, oh, she ain't here. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. So, definitely, I had to create. Oh, I had to, for one, talk to God. Yeah. And ask him, like, you know, where do you want me to be? Remove what you don't want from me. And, and when you pray that prayer, you got to be ready for what's coming Because he's going to cut it. So, I was like, you know, I got to, God, remove what you don't want from me. Yeah. Place the people that you want for me in my life. Take away the things that you know isn't going to help me get to where you want me to be, and guide my footsteps. Yeah. And that thing, I'm like, I trust you, God. Yeah. So even when I got that new job <laughs> and I heard everything that came with it, and I was like, I was like, all right, we ain't gonna let the money keep me here. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Once I stepped into it. More things started opening up. Wow. And I was like, okay, God, you showing me? <laughs> I'm following you. Yeah. And you showing me that, girl, I got you. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep on. Because yeah. <laughs> obedience. Yes. He has the outcome. Yes. And I, I had obedience. to learn that. I had to learn that with starting my business. Like, being obedient to him. Yeah. Like, if he's if he is throwing something out there to you. Just be obedient. Just be obedient. He has the outcome. <laughs> Cry. Do what you got to do. Stay obedient. And we, we never know. Like. We it's a little weird re- it's a little weary and it's scary. You, you it's scary. I, like it's it's very scary. And I had to I used to even think about when I opened my office. I knew I had the date that I wanted to be moved in, but I was time got to it. I'm like, mm-hmm. it don't look like it. But now I was in church and my pastor caught me out. He was like, somebody he said somebody finna get some keys. Wow. And I'm sitting there like, it might not be me. Like, <laughs> who get keys? Who get keys to what? And he's like, somebody can get your keys to do the work that God has caused you to do. Wow. And I'm just, you know. Not your he's, he's like, I know who it is. I ain't going to say no names. I'm just sitting there like, okay. And they say, oh, he's like, he always called me LaShawn. He's like, LaShawn, you, you looking for someone to start to, to wow. open, open up and do your business? And I was like. He's like, I see keys in your hand. Wow. (laughs) And I'm sitting there at church, like, I started crying. Like, (laughs) Lord. I'm like, Lord, we just, I just looked at my deadline. I knew I wanted to be moved into my office by June the 1st. Wow. And I got my keys on June the 1st. So, so, (laughs) so even with that, I'm like, I know what I done prayed. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, (laughs) even, even now, as time is going, it's like, I know what I want. I know what I want to be. And God is like, I'm, I'm gonna get you there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get you there. I you. Like, I, I like just sit back and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Just do I'm what you got. As long as you're productive, exactly. I got to seek keep, first the kingdom of God, and everything will be added. Yeah, it's, he's like keep, that's seeking, keep putting that work in. Yeah, like, and, that, and that's what I'm like. You know, okay, yeah. I trust you. Even with going into the sun, this is my first time ever going into the summer. You know, not not getting paid yeah. from a stable job. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, 
And even with going into this, he's showing me like, I got you. Yeah. I'm like, it's not been a week that has went by and a parent has not called and like, hey, I need you. Wow. And I'm just like, you're showing me, God. <laughs> It's his business. It is. It's and his business. And that's what and that's why I stand by the saying that, you know, God is my CEO. Yeah. People are like, Oh, you the CEO. No. No. no I, I stand on like God is my CEO. CEO. He's the CEO I'm, and the president. Exactly. Like I'm I'm just listening to him just and the he, vessel. <laughs> he's telling me which way to go and I'm following. Like yeah. this is his business. Period. And I'm just following what he yeah. like. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just following, and I'm even with working with kids. It's like you know, it gets tiring. Yeah, everybody can't do it. <laughs> Girl, I literally was like, I don't even want to take pictures of children because I can't do it. I can't do it because it gets hard. I'm like, ooh, get your child. <laughs> yes, but even with that, it's just like you know, it, it takes a different patient. And even on the days I don't feel, I mean, I might be like, okay, I'm just tired. But, <laughs> Let me go home, and I was just like, Lord, give me strength. <laughs> just, just give me strength. strength. I drank my little Celsius. <laughs> I drank a whole Coca Cola above that. I had to drink, drink my little Celsius. I'd be like, okay. But then he has his way of telling me, like, okay, Sean, I need you to sit down. Yeah. And and that's good because, like, even with me, like, I have to be like, all right, if I'm getting overwhelmed or stressed in my company, because I like work with a lot of companies, like, mm-hmm. I do a lot of branding. And I have to sit down and be like, oh, God, I'm stressed. And he'd be like, oh, it's because you need to hand that business back over to me now. Mm hmm. Humble yourself and hand it yes. back. I'm like, Lord God, I humble myself right now. And I hand it back over. <laughs> I don't want it. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Exactly. I'm following your lead. And yes. I think a lot of times that's like how we fall into burnout. Because mm-hmm. I, I mean, even though my little vacation was like two days because like, I don't know how to rest. So I be wanting to work. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, God, I got this new idea. I want to do this. Yes. And I be ready to go. Like, book this little vacation. I don't need this. <laughs> Uh, but I learning how to rest, I feel like it's very important. It we is. don't learn that. We, we don't. And, you know, I I'm I believe in all mm-hmm. different races, but I feel like black people in general do not know how to rest. Mm-mm. We don't know how to rest. Like we keep going and rest. It's, it's like going on vacation. Got, you gotta you gotta rest. It's something. not Indian Springs. It's, go on a vacation. Yeah, it's something. I'm like, look, if you gotta do on a little two days trip to yeah. Savannah. Go, go. <laughs> like, just go, go. But even like, even if it's Atlanta, yes, if it, a staycation. <laughs> yeah, if you got to go get a room in your local city, <laughs> yeah, literally get out your <laughs> own like, environment. Like you have to do stuff, and even like this past, you know, school just got out, so I, I didn't have to work on Friday, and me just like laying in the bed. Okay, I got this I need to be doing. The summer program coming up, I need to be finalizing the kids' workbooks so they can be shipped out. See? Like, all this type of stuff. And then I'm like, and it was just like, something was like, girl, sit down. Like, <laughs> oh, look, I'm like, like, sit down. <laughs> it was like, girl, sit down. Like, it, 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 it literally was like, you know, handle the calls. I had a few calls that yeah. I had to do. And it was like, okay, handle the calls and go rest. Yeah. And I, I literally did that. Like, I handled the calls. I talked to the parents I needed to talk to. And, rest. and then after that, I rested. Same thing yesterday, Saturday. I My family was like, oh, we have a cookout. You know, I'm like, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to drive to Jackson. Come. <laughs> and I had a few calls that I had to do before leaving the house. And I was like, okay, cool. Did the calls. And I was like, I just need to lay down. <laughs> I was like, I need to lay down before I hit the road. Yeah. And... Even then, everybody was like, "You, you getting out of this house?" Like everybody was like, "Getting up out of here!" You getting up out of here? And I was just like, "Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get." I was like, I'm, "I'm gonna get out. Let me just lay down for a minute. <laughs> Let me chill out." And I'm gonna go. And, and even like, I know tomorrow, even though it's a holiday, I'm be up. <laughs> I'm, I'm be up. Like, okay, what I need, what work I need to do now? Calling everybody back. Exactly. <laughs> That's every email. So I'm like, and even my parents, they're like, "We see the work you put in. Like, yeah. sit, sit down. Yeah. Just." Take your race. And, they, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah. I'm going to take my, I'm going to sit down yeah. somewhere. And, you know, just be more intentional about getting race, especially this summer. Like, yeah. I'm going I'm to be intentional. I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm going to work and get some things done. <laughs> but when you're in purpose, passion is hard to stop in purpose. Yes. And a lot of people don't understand that. Like, when you're in purpose, that passion hit. And you don't want it to stop. And that's the, the, people Definitely like, when you're having a good day. <laughs> Like, when you're having a good day and like you you like upbeat like everything is just flowing your yes. way you're just like okay that i know i gotta put a stop to this soon but i, I don't sleep when i'm sad I, I have had times where i have worked all day went to the office and it's an idea that's just burning in my head and i have my ipad in the bed with me like i'm laying on my stomach 
just type going. It, just going. And I might be on the phone and my boyfriend be like, What are you doing? <laughs> I'll be like, bye. I'm like, I'm working. I am working. <laughs> like, can you please go to sleep? And I'm just like, I can't. Yeah. It, it, and it's it's like so it, even when I birthed Chosen Society, mm-hmm. the logo and every the logo, the the saying. Everything came in one night. That's how it happened. I, I was sitting there like, and after I got all that, I was like, okay, now I can risk because I like this. I, I like this. I like this. And, and it's, it's just like, you know, like even when I think about my website, all of that, I'm like, it all happened because I could not sleep. Yeah, me too. And it's like, I, can, I could not rest. He won't let you sleep till <laughs> it, it's done. It, it, I could not rest until it was all done. And then when it was done, I was like, okay, go to bed. And now I can go to sleep now. And it might be four, five o'clock in the morning. I'm back up. And I'm like, I'm back up at six, seven o'clock. But I'm like, I feel good. Yeah. Because I got what I needed. It was burning on the inside. It be brewing. And I'm, I'm like, I had, I had to get, I, it had, I'm, I might be in the shower. And I have to, like, an idea <laughs> pop up in the shower. And I'm like, where my phone at? I know. Like, if you see my notes, she'll be like, this girl right here got a thousand businesses about to pop out. And I'm yes. like, it's going to come out. And, then, and everybody like, you always got something up your sleeve. And I'm like, look. Every single time. Look, and I'm like, you ain't going to tell me what I can't do. Like, you is not going to I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Exactly. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> Period. No, for real. But Sean, Lash- I know her as a Lashanaka. So y'all better know her as Lashanaka. <laughs> Look, pronounce it right. Pronounce how you it say right. it? That, no, you said it right. Lashanika. But I'm not saying that's how we say it. They be like Lashanika. I'm like, Lush- no. not Lashanika. It's not her. It's Lashanika. Lashanika. <laughs> what we say? Lala. La- <laughs> Lala. That's what her name is, but Lala. <laughs> Legit, it was good having you. I'm so glad we got it done. We yeah. had a lot of technical difficulties, y'all. Y'all gonna see it was a lot of, t- of difficulties, but it was good having you. I enjoyed now, it. one thing we like to do is say one thing that we are created to be, and one thing that we are we have became. So okay. I want you to tell us one thing that you know that you're created to be, and one thing that you already became. Um, I feel like I am created to be a leader and a teacher. And what was the other one? What have you already became? What have I already became? That's a good one. <laughs> I became everything. I, I I feel like I became a lot. Yes. I, I became, you know, disciplined. I became, um, I would say more confident mm. um, and stronger. Um, I used to lack a lot of confidence. And it, it, this thing has... <laughs> I'm like you know, but overall, I have I feel like I have became what God has wanted me to be, mm-hmm. and I know that it's more that He wants me to be. But even in this season, I feel like you know I'm I have became what God has wanted me to be, and it's it's still growing, it's still going, yes. and I'm like okay, I'm almost at the assignment. <laughs> That's good. Drop your um Instagram handles real quick. How can they find you? Um, they can find me on Instagram at Growing Strong Minds underscore, and my other Instagram Lashonica Jamisia. And she don't know chosen society. I don't. That's <laughs> it. Just keep, click the link tree in the bio. Yeah, it's, it's like look, just just look in the bio because I I can't think of it off the top of my head because I I feel like I added something in there. <laughs> Probably a period. Yeah, it's probably a period of space or something. I can't remember. <laughs> but it was good having you. Thank you for coming on the Create to Be Creative podcast. Thank you for and having me. I pray that everybody join, and I pray nothing but success over you. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, and we out. Yeah.